412. Hello and welcome back once again to Finnegan's Wake, the project where I Jeff read the book Finnegan's Wake to you one page at a time, one day at a time, sort of, kind of. I kind of have been slacking lately because I got a new computer and I had got to fuck with the video editing software and I am just lack motivation, I guess. But I have some time to do these now, so I'm knocking out hopefully 16 and 16 tonight, or 14 and 14. So that would be a lot. So, <laughs> oh, let's get to it. Page 412, here we go. Me, while you behold now, I be held. But it is grandoi, grandois, by my ways of thinking, for the prof, from the prophecies, new worlds for all. And they were scotographically arranged for gentlemen only by a scripture in who found Landol, who finds he is a relative. And it was with my extrovert Davy, like glue, be though, Moyhards do day and night, Tom Thumb, Fwum. How my laterus is thy bell chant, O songbird, and how exquisite thine after draft, buchanate in emnia, tuba in signi, vomunitatis tue. But do you mean, O faudsine, fune, from Pontoff Bellic till the kissel merched our leaden triz will be? We gathered substantively whether furniture, wood, or verdure varnish. It is a confoundious injective to say, Sean, the fiery boy shouted, naturally incensed, as he shook the red pepper out of his auricles. In another time, please confine your glaring insinuations to some other mordant body. What on the physiog of this furnished planet would I be doing besides your verjuice? That is more than I can fix for the Tiom Bien, anyway. So let I and you now kindly drop that angry man. That's not French pastry. You can take it from me. Understand me when I tell you, and I will ask you not to whisple, cry Golden, or quoth Macbeth, that under the past pure cell's office, so deeply deplored by my erstwhile elder friend, Miss Enders, poach mistress and gay receiver, ever for in particular to the Scotic poor men's thousand gallon cow society. I was thinking of her in store. All be they blessed with 22,000 sorters out of a biggest pass of 22,000, mine's one. Too much privet stationery and sefty quipu was ate up largely by those nettlesome ghosts out of pension greed. Culpa de Becco, buon apparitia proceeding, I will say, it is also one of my avowals intentions. At some time, peas pod, plues, mirthers of gout, when I am not prepared to say, so apt as my pen is up to scratch, to compound quite the makings of a verdigris savings book in the form of a pair of capri sheep boxing gloves surrounding this matter of the Wells Fusel Musketeers and their Cindy Buck that saved a city from my publicers, Noliner and Browno, Nickel, Hop Stout, Christ Cross, so long as. All right, and that, gentle listeners, was page number 412 of this book, Infinite, or Finnegan's Wake. Have a great night.